Good morning and assalamu alaikum. So I welcome you all to today's online presentation which is sponsored by Celsius University. So today my topic of presentation is succession management and it belongs to the course human resource planning. Before starting the presentation, I would like to thank our honorable faculty, Shamima Akhtar, lecturer of Southeast Business School, for giving me the chance to work on this lively project. So, at first, uh, let's get introduced. I'm Maliha Salsabin, student of Southeast University, fourth year last semester, uh, and student of 45 batch. So, let's start our today's presentation. So, it's basically on succession management and succession planning uh, it's actually the same thing so let's uh, know what is succession planning actually succession planning is a process through which we can identify and develop new leaders who can replace the old leaders when the that old leaders are retiring or they are leaving the organization for some uh, health issues or they may die also so at that time when the new leaders are taking the position that is actually the succession planning so today what i'm going to discuss is about how to create an efficient succession planning so i would like to discuss this thing in five steps let's move on to the first step that is to make it collaborative so what is this actually the leaders who are existing in the company or in the organization they will include the other leaders why the necessity uh, there is this city of including those leader because those leaders may know your employees more than you so they may know that who is having more potentiality in your organization so they may help you out the next point which i'm going to discuss is find multiple candidates so what is the necessity of finding out multiple candidates actually there is a there is a like a system like this is when a person is retiring from a company he would like to hand over his power to uh, his or her uh, children or any one of the business partner but uh, there should be a process in which he or she is choosing multiple candidate because if there is any type of problem in the organization or any uncertainty so at that uh, time during the tragedy they can also hand over to that uh, specific people who is potential so it is necessary to uh, you know uh, to think or to to select multiple people within the organization so the next step is choose an efficient format so why efficient format is necessary because whenever we can see that in any or in many organizations people are choosing single page format or multiple page document format why this is necessary this is necessary whenever we are going to do any research on the organization uh, that may be on the employees uh, improvement or their talent anything whatever we are going to do for that we need to choose an efficient format and that format need to suit best for your organization suppose we are choosing a format that does not actually suit for your organization so that doesn't have any value the next point that i'm going to discuss is determine the value of your business so there are many people those who think that at the time of their retirement they would like to sell their organization so whenever they're going to uh, sell their organization, they need to know the net worth of his or her organization. Without knowing the net worth, it is very critical for him or her to find out at the time of retirement uh, what is the value of his business. So to determine the value of your own business is very necessary. if our succession planning involves someone else buying or running your business make you should make sure that they can afford to do so why 
because that uh, that person we are choosing he or she may not be financially capable of running the business so at that time there would be huge loss for a business or even bankruptcy so we should consider the funding before succession planning uh, was confined within eight years but now the succession planning is necessary for CEOs and other sectors also in every organization there are some people like some superstars when uh, they are serving so good for the organization and when they are in the organization we think that oh my god we can give him or her that position that work many things so in every organization there are this type of four to six people so when these four to six people are leaving your organization at that time you can see in your succession pipeline it's totally empty so what we need to do is we need to groom up the other peoples within the organization because whenever those uh, superstars are leaving your organization that time recruiting any fresher from outside the organization uh, is like other than that if we like re uh, give the chance to those who are inside your organization because uh, that would be more fruitful because those who are within your organization he or she knows better about your organization so like uh, there are actually many people who are having the capability to solve for you in the middle level or lower level but we never think of them we never look at them and in many small or big organization the succession planning is ignored but uh, whatever we are doing is we should think the leaders uh, they should think when they are leaving the organization who is going to take your position who is going to work in your place because if you actually feel for your organization you would have realized that whenever you are leaving the organization you need someone who will work like to like you so uh, in this stage we should obviously uh, do training for the people who are within the organization and th that may help you out because you will do that you will groom that people you will uh, motivate that people for doing their best because you we you, if you actually uh, care for your organization and care for the people you have served so that was all about my part of presentation i would like to thank my faculty again for giving me the chance to talk on this topic so thank you everyone